Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to do a glued hairline. So here are some things you're going to need. First, you're going to need your wig, of course. I'm using a Vivian in silver from Arta Wigs and I've sewn some short wefts into it already for some volume. You wanna make sure that your wig is properly pinned down on a wig head. And then I have the remainder of the short wefts that I'm gonna be using to make my hairline. Now you can also remove some wefts from the wig to do this. Next, you're going to need some felt, and you want it in a color that's similar to the fiber that you're gonna be gluing down. Then you will need something to secure down your wig head. And then of course you want some glue. I'm gonna be using clear gel tacky glue, and there are other types of glues such as Patex, other tacky glues, or Fabri-Tac that you can use, but I prefer this kind. Then you want some pins, a hot glue gun and glue sticks, a seam ripper for the very first part, of course you want some hair clips, some combs and brushes are good, some hair cutting scissors, and some hairspray is helpful too, and of course you need a reference of the hairline you're going with. Another item that isn't shown here is my hair dryer. Now that we have all of our materials set, let's get started. Now the first thing we want to do is brush back the bangs of the wig because we want to expose that under layer. It's going to be that one weft that's right underneath in the very front of the wig. And I'm going to be taking my seam ripper and taking that off. You just want to get a few stitches cut and then it gets so much easier to just pull off. Next, I'm going to be taking my white felt and cutting it into the shape of my hairline. And I want to cut it so that it's a little bit shorter than how I actually want the hairline. Now, you can use other kinds of materials too, such as fabric or lace. I just prefer to use felt because I find that felt kind of sticks to the glue and the fiber a little bit better. Once you have your fiber all set and kind of positioned underneath the wig, you wanna take your hot glue gun and just glue that down. Now you can also take a curved C needle and some thread and sew that down. I just prefer to use hot glue. Now it's time to prep the short wefts that I put aside. So I'm going to brush those out, make sure that there's no tangles. And then I'm gonna take some of my clear gel tacky glue and put a few dabs of glue down on it. Then I'm taking my index finger and my thumb and just really smushing the glue into the fiber. You wanna make sure that you're spreading the glue out as you do this. And you can also use your thumbnail to kind of get any of those small clumps that form out. Once you have the ends of the wefts pretty saturated with glue, we're gonna put these aside and I'm gonna repeat this on a bunch of wefts that I have. I also wanna make sure that I cut off the piece at the very top of the weft that's gonna be holding it together. So while the wefts are drying, I want to prep my bangs. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna be brushing it out and I really want these bangs to go up and then curve over. So I'm gonna be doing some heat styling and some teasing on this. So I'm gonna be taking my hair dryer and having it on a high heat setting while holding the fiber up. I'm gonna just be blasting really the roots of that fiber. And then while this is cooling, you can kind of shape this into place. Now I also wanna be doing some light teasing on this. So I'm just really back combing to make sure that that builds up and that that's going to stay facing like straight up. Then I'm going to repeat this on the other side and I'm just using a little bit of hairspray as well.
Now the wefts that I've glued are fully dry, I'm going to start placing them and gluing them down to make my false hairline. So I'm just going to be taking some of my tacky glue and really just putting globs on the felt as well as the fiber that I styled up. And then I'm taking my weft and just really like squishing it in there, making sure that the glue all gets around the back. And I'm going to trim the weft just a little bit just to match the bangs because the longer it is, the heavier it's going to be. And while the glue is drying, you do have to kind of add a little bit more and kind of just like play with it. Make sure that the weft is stuck down in the right spot. And I'm just putting a little pin there just to hold it into place. Then you want to repeat this process throughout the hairline. And while the glue is getting tacky, you want to keep moving the wefts just a little bit, making sure that it's getting saturated. Using a hair dryer can help make the glue a little bit tackier. But if I was doing this and my wefts were still wet with glue, it would be a little bit trickier. So that's why I like to make sure that they're fully dry before I glue them down onto my hairline. So as you can see, I'm using some wefts that I've prepped in various sizes. Just making sure that it's going to completely cover up the felt that I have for this hairline. And again, I'm just putting down little pins to kind of hold the bottom of the wefts into place. If these wefts were still wet with glue, the pins would not do anything. So I'm going to start trimming the bottom of the wefts just a little bit. And what I kind of like to do with some of these trimmings is that at the very edge of the false hairline that I've made, I like to use those because they're kind of pre-cut off. So it's really not going to make the bangs on the side stick up. So I want that and it's going to blend into the wig. Mostly because the bangs are going to swoop over so you won't really see those very short pieces. And after you have them all set, you just want to smush them back into place and let them dry because once they're fully dried, you're going to start trimming them. So this is the next day and I've trimmed it down to that felt and I'm going to start trimming upwards into little cuts to create that hairline. Unfortunately, my camera wasn't working too well, so I did have to cut ahead, but there is my finished hairline and it's all set and I'm ready to style the rest of the wig. Now what helps is taking a little bit of tacky glue and just really smushing it into the bottom. And there you go. Once it's all dried, there's your finished hairline. So thank you guys so much for watching my glued hairline tutorial. If you liked it, make sure you like the video and subscribe if you want to. And if you have any questions, please ask in the comments and I will try to answer them as best as I can. Thank you guys.